super spiritual moment. I wonder if no one watches this video. Did it ever really exist? Train the muscles, not the joints. Mountain. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how a career ending injury changed my life. Changed my life, right? So you guys wonder why I'm so insane and why I'm kind of nuts and I don't give a shit and I'm out here dancing and doing whatever. <laughs> well, years ago I was competing in bodybuilding. I was at the height of my career. I had won lots of natural bodybuilding shows. I even managed to win an IFBB show or sanctioned one in Canada. The equivalent IFBB show in Canada anyway at the provincial level. But at the same time, I was always like looking around and I was like, man, you know, like still not happy, you know, I have this physique and whatever, but there's got to be more to life than just training. There's got to be more to life than this constant competitive sort of rat race that I was in. I remember there was one specific day I was in the gym and I just received a bunch of compliments from some guy that was always admiring my physique and stuff and saying, oh yeah, you look great. I wish I looked like you and all this, you know, all the time, right? And I was like, uh, I was saying to myself, man, you know, that guy seems to be so happy about it. He seems to think that it's such a great thing to have a physique. But I was looking in the mirror and I was like, man, I'm, I'm kind of miserable. This, you know, that part of my life, I was not really happy. I was always grumpy. I was always like trying to find myself, trying to find, you know, where, where do I fit? And I remember looking in the mirror that day and I remember saying to myself, I'd give it all up tomorrow. I literally said this to myself, I give it all up tomorrow just to be happy. And little did I know, somebody or something was listening because <laughs> it was only about a year later that I started to get into hockey and I started to really love hockey. And I was just learning how to skate and enjoy this. And I was actually really enjoying it. And sure enough, you know, just a rookie mistake and one weird fall. And I tried to do a one hand push up on the ice and bang, popped my shoulder out. And ever since then, of course, my shoulder's never been the same. And I popped it out multiple times because I was playing a lot of hockey at the time because that was the only thing I did enjoy. <laughs> and what happened was it totally changed how I could train in the gym and, and my whole identification and how I was wrapped up in my muscular gains being who I was, I, I had to start detaching from that. And so this long detachment process began where I realized that I could no longer maintain the exact same way I was physically because of this injury that I couldn't get over. And at the same time, I was thinking, ah, uh, I guess part of me doesn't give a shit because I wasn't very happy there anyway. You know, I'd rather just go play some hockey or something. Right. So I started to really do a lot more self-reflection about what is life about? Because now the only thing that I was extremely good at, which was bodybuilding, that had been ripped away from me. And at the time, I did not see it as a blessing. Of course, that, that was like <laughs> it was a horrible time in my life. And I, I started to get extremely depressed about that. Right. Because I was so attached to what do I look like? This is why people like me is because I have a physique. If they, if I don't have a physique, then they don't care about, they don't really give a shit about me or, or whatever. It was like I had spent around 15 years to 17 years at the time climbing a skyscraper that I just fell off and now I had to climb a new one, you know? And so that's when I started seeking. I started seeking uh, meditation. I started seeking supernatural type of techniques for healing, whether it was Qigong or whether it was mantra practice or meditation and, and seeking out energetic healers and stuff. And that's how I ended up becoming a meditation teacher. That's how I ended up starting to unravel this, this overwhelming attachment I had to the physical body. Now, the side effect that was kind of negative from this is that a lot of my chest training was affected where I noticed that when I started doing bench presses, my chest wasn't getting recruited as much as my shoulders. My shoulders were starting to get massively recruited compared to my chest as much as my chest would feel something but the shoulder would slide forward and back in the joint right so that would start to take off some of the stress on the chest but put it on the shoulder so my shoulders started to develop more but my chest started to develop less in comparison compared to before so i created a chest training course but some people are like oh you don't know how to train chest because your chest is smaller than your delts but they don't realize that i had had a injury that caused a side effect in my physical body, right? So it's nothing I can do anything about. It's kind of like making fun of Stephen Hawking because he can't run the 100 meter dash. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, that's, that's the kind of shit you get on YouTube, you know? Not, not very much compassion on here, but that's okay, whatever, right? Good thing I'm not attached. <laughs> so the thing is, is that the positive part of this was that I learned how to be fulfilled without looking physically. 
And the funny thing is, is that when you are fulfilled without looking physically, you start to really enjoy your life and you start to enjoy the physical things, a lot of the things that you couldn't enjoy before. And then life becomes a fun game, right? So looking back now, I know that injury was the pivotal moment in my life where I learned how to fulfill myself without being dependent on external condition. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys out there are, uh, are on this channel for a lot of reasons. Sometimes you're like, hey, I'm really insecure, Jason. I just want to be bigger and stronger, whatever. But a lot of you are like, hey, you know, this is a fun game to play, but it's not the entirety of life, right? So that's where I'm coming from. That's why you'll see me do a lot of humor in my videos. That's why you'll see me, you know, joke around and be an idiot sometimes because not taking yourself so seriously allows you to start enjoying this process instead of being obsessed with it because obsession can only take you so far. Obsession is only fun for a short while, but obsession will not maintain any sort of fulfillment, right? Because then it's every day. I remember, oh, it's a nice eagle above me right now. Ah, sorry about that. Oh, another one, two. I think they're hawks actually. I remember when I was at the later stage of my competitive career, I remember getting up some days and I'm like, oh man, I got to train today. I just like, I just hated it. You know, sometimes I loved it when I was in the middle of it, but that, that first like initial realization that I had to train and go possibly throw up in a bucket to make sure I get gains because that's the only reason why I have any value in the world. It was, it was horrible in some way, you know, where now it's like, Hey, I train, I enjoy it. I try to get some results and stuff like that, but it doesn't affect who I am. You know, I'm still here regardless whether my training went well or training didn't go well. I'm still here. You know, I can still tell a joke. I can still do my thing. I can still live and enjoy my life. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's really the paradigm and, and, and that's how that injury changed my life. It changed my life because it changed the foundation on which I lived from. So if I was going to give you guys any advice, make sure that as much as it's good to pursue goals and it's good to really try your best to be the best you can with a lot of different things, also work on not attaching to the outcome so much so that way you can at least enjoy the process. Because even in this YouTube game, I've been doing videos for eight years on here and it has been a challenge. It's been a lot of negativity and a lot of positivity too, but it's been like drudgery and YouTube has not helped me much. And I've had a real struggle just getting my message out there. There's been nothing but adversity, but that's part of the fun. You know, part of the fun is, is the, is the journey and the building of something. And I remember when I was a kid, I always remember that the time of building something was so much fun. And sometimes once it was built, it was almost like, oh, okay, well, that's great. Now what? You know what I mean? So it's the journey that's so much fun. And remember to enjoy this bodybuilding journey. Don't just always look so obsessively at the end result or the end goal. And then funny enough, you're going to have a greater capacity to reach your goal because mentally and emotionally, you're going to have more energy and passion because enjoyment is an amazing energy source. When you're enjoying something, you have so much more energy towards it and it's so much more fulfilling. So yeah, as one wise man said to me one time, he said, the road and the destination have to be the same. So if you enjoy walking the path, you'll enjoy the end of the path as well. It's not about just enjoying yourself once you get to the end, right? So I hope this helps you out in your natural bodybuilding journey. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgallantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Mountain. A couple of eagles just flew over that way. You still here? Then go home. Come on, get on, get on. You got the gym to go to. Get on, come on. Get up off the couch. Get out of that chair. Go train. I mean it. Go on.